A couple of years ago, my grandma died. Not my favorite way to start a video. Try that again. I just saw some birds fly over, so I guess they were like in the V shape. I guess they're doing that flying south for the winter thing. Also, one of my grandmas has been dead for a while. Does that help anybody? Side note, I'm getting coffee and I asked my sister-in-law who's pregnant. I don't know if I said that. Wow, we were hitting a lot of things in the first minute in the video. My brother and my sister-in-law are pregnant. I'm gonna be an aunt again. I'm gonna be a double aunt. <laughs> New baby niece in March. Two kids running around. Two, I'm an aunt to two. That's exciting, congratulations to them, but some beef with my brother. My grandma unfortunately passed away a couple years ago. She always used to make cookies on Christmas. She had these recipes, they were like my dad's favorite cookies. There's a peanut butter cookie, and she had these other ones that were like these cups, with like these, these cups with like the caramelized, but it wasn't caramel, but it was something else. It was like, look, it was so good. I made them with her a couple times. I had made these cookies a couple times. She had these recipes, and as people do, um, if it's not in a cookbook and it's not online, she had them written down in her cursive on scraps of note cards. When she passed away, I guess who got all the all the recipes? My brother. And they've been sitting in a box at his house, and I've asked for copies of them. Never got them. So, shout out to my sister-in-law. She finally got him to open up a box for me. Oh, thank you very much. So, we're gonna go get the cookie recipes. We're gonna try and decipher them. I, like, remember going through the motions, but I don't exactly remember the recipes or, like, what exactly we did. Also, I'm getting coffee before I go over there, because they live by, um, the coffee shop. The Coffee Joe, Green Joe, coffee, whatever, whatever that I like to go to. And she's pregnant, so I was like, do you want- I'm gonna go stop by and get coffee. Uh, they have smoothies. And she goes, you sold me. I want an Akai blueberry blend. I said, how do you know that they have that? Where are you getting your information from? They do! She must have looked up the menu. Also, it's winter in the Midwest. You gotta dry your hair before you leave the house. So I showered, dried the hair, we're good. Also, hi! <laughs> oh, hello! How are you? Happy whatever day it is that you're watching. Monday? They, these come out on Mondays. You're like, it's Thursday night. I'm like, oh, Thursday night. Congratulations on your Thursday night. I'm gonna put on a podcast. Do you ever have street corn? Yeah. I found a new podcast from the comedian. I think his name's Charlie Barron. That's how you say his last name. It's called Bellied Up. It's like a podcast about the Midwest. People call and they belly up to the bar and they just like ask them questions about the Midwest. So it's presented by Fleet Farm, which if you don't know what Fleet Farm is, it's like the Home Depot Menards. If you don't, That's like the lows of the Midwest. Like a Fleet Farm is... I've only been to one to like three times because they have like animal feed and stuff like that. And then they have like Twizzlers and then clothes, but also look it up. My hands are so dry. I haven't heard any Christmas music and yet it's stuck in my head. My body just knows it's almost Christmas. <laughs> Did, did, did I even bring my wallet? Yeah, I did. Okay. <laughs> Can I do um one of the Akai berry blend smoothies? Yeah, it's like it's called the Windy City Chill. It's peppermint, iced. Yeah, of course. I will say, like, look how big the drink is. That's a smoothie. That's the other one. Okay, this is a flattering angle. Their large coffees are, are the biggest coffees I've ever seen. Uh, Dunkin', you know what Dunkin's is pretty big? It probably rivals the Dunkin' cup, but I never get a large iced coffee from Dunkin' because I won't finish it. Oh, it's so much prettier in the sun. And this is a Windy City Chill. And this one was on their website, but it wasn't on the menu. This is supposed to be like almond, white chocolate, and cherry. It's like an energy drink mixed with something else. Mmm. Oh, you can taste the almond. Oh my, that's so good. Mm. Oh, you know it tastes like a Red Bull. <laughs> I think the last time I had this, it tasted like a Red Bull too. Like a like a strawberry soaked in Red Bull covered in chocolate. Oh, that sounds so good. Holy tits. I can't even put this down because my cup holders are taken. So I guess I gotta drink it. Damn. Oy! I also like that it's like see-through. A fucking mood. It's not a dark cloudy coffee. It's a see-through, see-through Red Bull strawberry beverage. Tastes like almonds. I don't even know this was the wrong stream. Wasn't supposed to turn down that street. We in the damn suburbs. This is just a winding jigsaw puzzle. I don't know why people from the Midwest like corn mazes so much when they go like to pick pumpkins. Have you ever driven in the suburbs? That is a corn maze in itself. Like a mouse in a maze. You get your coffee and then you find seven other ways to drive home. Let's try the white chocolate mocha. I've never gotten this from, it's a peppermint white mocha. I've tried their other coffee flavors. They have like a cannoli. I think I've gotten on here before and like an Elvis one. Oh my gosh, my hair. Look how long the straw is. I mean, yeah. For some reason, their coffee, like their signature lattes have never been my favorite. That's why I don't always make the trek out here. 
But these things are consistently good. Mm. Their neighbors have a skeleton out. <laughs> they have those 12 foot tall skeletons. Please don't, please don't fall. Look at the, look at the skeleton. My nephew calls her skeleton bones. He goes, oh, bones. Back in the car. I also, I texted, I told my sister-in-law that Bones across the street with the Santa as a moon, she said they run Christmas lights through. I see them now. They run like Christmas lights through. I would leave that thing up all year round. Forget the door decoration. I want a skeleton in my front yard. I secured the recipes. They're all in here. I do not know she had so many. Old school little filing system. But yeah, I found the couple cookie ones that I specifically remember. It's a pecan cup, the one. Um, and I forgot the other ones, what they're called. But also, um, I was at their house. I think carving pumpkins in October. And she had laid out a charcuterie board. And I don't care what anybody says, I love a good charcuterie board. I love eating seven different types of cheeses in one sitting. I love a good cheese and crackers plate with a little bit of like hard salami. I could eat that any day, every day, all time. I love when you're like at the lake and you've been swimming and someone busts out the cheese and crackers. Like it's the most basic snack and it's so good. But then when my my brain got blown open to the world of charcuterie boards, oh, someone strikes me, the world of charcuterie boards and you could have seven different types of cheeses, three types of meats and four different types of crackers in one spot so that you could taste test all the other cheeses, blew my damn mind. I love, I don't care what anybody says, I don't know if charcuterie boards are tacky or what or if people are over them. I love eating the different types of cheeses and I love cheese. I could talk about this all day. So she had a bunch out, so I was like, I was like, what were what were we eating? Because I'm gonna go buy a bunch. Goat cheese, brie, gouda. Cue my one of my favorite movie lines. Why yes I do. My favorite's gouda. <laughs> I like gouda too. She gets them from Aldi, which is a Midwest f shopping store chain. I think it's only in the Midwest, who knows? I'm gonna go pick up that. I don't know when we're gonna make these cookies. Sometime this month. And then we were just talking Christmas, <laughs> Christmas lists. <laughs> Trying to figure out what to get the rest of the family. Okay. Successful. How does anyone counteract their hate for grocery shopping? Does anybody like grocery shopping? My mom does 99% of our grocery shopping. When I take over that responsibility and do the most of the grocery shopping, I'm either going at 11 o'clock at night when they close or like an hour before in and out, or I'm going at like four in the morning. I want to like look at the cheeses and not be surrounded by anybody. Me and this woman were like doing a little dance. I kept having to like go around her every time because she kept scooting down and I was just trying to read the cheeses. Like, am I in your way? Or are you in my way? Move! These are the cheeses, though. Let me share them because they're really good. And if you would like them or have access to them, or if you're like, she, she didn't even know about goat cheese. No, I didn't know about goat cheese until a couple years ago. This is the six cracker assortment. We got the salami. I saw these of my own little wafer crackers. They're hella thin. And I got goat cheese. This is the plain one. I never do a grocery haul. This is the plain one. She had an herbs and something, but it must be really popular because they were sold out. And then I got the brie. The brie! The brie cheese! The brie cheese. They had oodles of that. I got the gouda. Oh, this one. Look, someone took a chunk out of my gouda. They had a smoked gouda. We couldn't remember if we had gotten the smoked gouda or the regular one. I just got the regular one. I got three cheeses. Some from my crackers, from some from my salami. I got the three cheeses. Some from my wafers. Sample my mommy. There's that. I have to go see if I can find a couple plastic mice and some like doll furniture for a video. Don't ask me why. Don't don't ask too many questions. I'm gonna go to the dollar store. I have to go pick up some props. <laughs> oh, also Aldi can be kind of a daunting store if you've never been to it because Aldi is the type of store if you want a cart to put your groceries in, to put a quarter in and it un un unlocks the cart. And then when you're done with the cart, you put it back in and it spits the quarter out. So they make sure that you return the carts smart. But if you don't know, you're just in there ripping the carts off the thing, being like, who locked up all the carts? Um, and then also you, they don't have bags. They don't have bags. You have to bring your own bags. That's why I brought in my own. This is a garden terrace bag from someplace. I also had a go ape. This is a climbing facility. <laughs> So at the end of the checkouts, they just throw everything in a shopping cart and you're supposed to take it out of the shopping cart and put it in your own bags. If you didn't know that it's very confusing, uh, I had been there with my mom a lot as a kid. So I was like, I know what the deal is. Let me bring my own stuff. I don't wanna look like a newbie. I might be new to the world of cheeses, but I'm not new to the world of Aldi's, all right? It's Dollar Tree time. It's the most wonderful time of the day. 
I spent $33. Oh my, it was crowded. I spent $33 and didn't even get what I want. How does that always happen? There should be a thing where it's like, if you don't get at least one thing on your list of what you came in for, you shouldn't be able to leave the store. Couldn't find any mice. So I don't have to go to a pet store and get plastic mice, like the cat toy mice. A lot of it was stuff to put on the cactus tree. My nephew loves, what's the movie called? Wally. -E. I found these little like cake topper things. I got those for him. Some props I thought I could use in the future. That's why I don't want to spoil it. In the arts and crafts section of the Dollar Tree, which is now the Dollar Twenty Five Tree, they have like square things of cloth, fabric, and I don't know what I'm gonna use them for, but I will find a use. So they had kind of a splatter paint one. What the hell? Had to get that one. My drinks are melted. I don't know how long I was in there. I feel like my cheese melted. Oh, and it was the it was the cashier's birthday. They made an announcement. They're like, we got a birthday girl in the house. Blah, 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 blah. I'm like, oh, oh. Some people cheered. I was in the back, so I was like, uh, what? But when I went up there, I was like, whose birthday is it? And it was hers. This night. Nice older woman and she was wearing these little penguin earrings with like a matching brooch oh my god i was like my grandma used to wear stuff like that and then she's like yeah they used to have them at kmart and like and at michael's i was like i know exactly what you're talking about almost like craft fair little sets very cute i was talking she's like yeah everything is like a pendulum it's we, like the trend circle background because i was like oh it'll come back and people will start wearing that stuff again we're talking about like bibs the fake bib like dickies bibs that people wear it's like a fake turtleneck that gives you the illusion my grandma wants some for christmas and i was telling her she's and i was like they're coming back in style she's like they are and i was like yes she's like i got them in black and white and a Christmas one and I was like you can buy them in variety packs off Amazon so you're talking I was like oh happy birthday we're just chit-chatting this is fun the people in the store uh, the cashier she was like a golden girl loved her okay I ran home to drop off the cheese also had to go to the bathroom if you know what I'm saying and I had to go pick up a stray depending on when this comes out he hasn't been for a ride in like a week because I was so busy last week. I didn't do any afternoon coffee runs. You haven't been in the car. Why are y'all wobbling back and forth? Shaky cam. Um, because I couldn't find the plastic mouse, mice, mice. One mouse, one mouse, couple of mice. He's allowed in the pet store. I also put a, a jingle bell fell off of my, my one of my ugly sweaters. So I put it on his collar. So now he jingles like a reindeer. Also, I just wanted to clarify. I don't know. I started off the video talking about how my grandma had passed away. But I don't think I've talked about her much on this. Not the grandma that I just took to uh, to go gamble or take care of her bill or something like that. That not that, no. This is my dad's mom. She made those Christmas cookies every year. She loved ice in her beer. She loved dark chocolate. She always had like little chocolates laying around. She loved reading. Loved reading. She was a real estate agent. Um, at one point in her life, she lived further into Chicago and then she moved out to the suburbs. Fun fact, my town has a tree lighting every year and they take someone's tree from like the community. It sounds weird when you talk about it. They take someone's tree from like the, the town and they like donate it and they'll cut it down for you if you want to get rid of it and they'll use it as like the town's tree. Her tree got chosen the one time and on transport, she lived near where they like set it up. On transport, they broke the tree. So instead they made her like a wreath out of the tree and gave it to her at the ceremony. <laughs> She was a force to be reckoned with, let me tell you. Okay, the sun, I just gotta keep the glasses on. You're gonna be like, why are you bringing your dog in here and you're buying plastic mice? And I'll be like, it's for a project, because my job is to, it's for a video. It's, you know, he just, he just likes to be here. I don't really know what to tell you. <laughs> tired you did so good he really did do a good job one time he went in there and he peed i mean i got these ones these are like christmas mice i don't know got him like a beer cookie you came into oh a beer cookie you can have when you get home last time we had cookies in the car crumbs everywhere crumbs everywhere why does everyone drive like they don't know how to you know what i think christmas shopping should be done in waves now this is totally not fair because then some people would get the products but everyone should have a raffle and be like you're allowed to leave your house and do all your christmas shopping from the fifth to the tenth and then the next group the next wave of people go out because it's just too much i don't know if we should do it by age or by like who has the most to shop for maybe Maybe who has the most Christmas presents to buy? Too many people out and about don't know what they're buying, don't know, don't know who, what, who what they're buying for. I don't like to dilly-dally around Christmas time. I'm not a Christmas time dilly-dallier. I like to get, where the hell are my sunglasses? I like to get in and get out. You did so good in there, Bubby. 
That was fun, huh? That makes up for not getting coffee this week. Hopefully. It's 8.30 at night. I never finished the coffee. Seven, eight hour coffee. Now it's just like lukewarm. Thanks for running errands with me today. This is a little wine bottle bag Santa suit, but I thought I could put the small uh, Santa hat on Alley the Cactus and then maybe somehow repurpose this, not for a wine bottle, but like cut it for his pot or something. I literally sat there looking at that for like five minutes. And I was like, how could I do that? I know I could. These are supposed to be penguins, but I have to put them together. And it's not even like you glue stuff together. I have to cut it out. They said it's more than a craft. It's an interactive craft. Well, how could a craft not be interactive? They gonna make you be crafty with this craft. It's not, you just don't need to know where the eyes go. You need to make the eyes. I did get little dollhouse furniture. That's a table for the video I want to do. This is like the one fabric. Look, it's like a giraffe blowing a bubble. And then that, these are the little fabric square things. They're like a cool print. And then I bought this. This is Roz from Monsters, Inc. She's the secretary and she's like, Michael Zowski, I'm always watching. I've never seen a mini sculpture of her for $1.25. And I feel like I just resonate with her so well. Like if I was gonna be a Pixar character, I would be her. She, she just doesn't have time for nobody. I just dropped her. She got no time for nobody. She's holding shit down. She's organized. She's keeping her eye on other people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're like, wow, that was a bunch of crap that she bought. Well, at least it's my crap and not yours. At least my crap stays in my house. It's like the, uh, the show, How I Met, and that's how I met your mother. It's like, and that's how I spent $33 at the Dollar Tree. I just looked up Roz's like Wikipedia fandom page. It tells you like everything they know about the character and it says her job is key master. And it says type of hero. She's a heroic jerk monster. That's, that's who I aspire to be. A heroic jerk monster. She's responsible for all the paperwork done. You know, I guys know I love paperwork. I love paper. I'm always watching. If you're always watching, like and subscribe. Thank you very much. Oh. Bite it. Good oh boy. It's actually really good.